altitude. How good is it up here? I love this spot. My favorite spot on the ship. So gorgeous. All right, so I've made it to Cairns. Cairns. I don't know how they say it. This is my first time up here at the Great Barrier Reef and I wanted to do something really cool and exciting. But first, I got the new GoPro Hero 7 Black to replace my broken Hero 5. Quick open box, and yeah, this is what's inside. So on this trip, I brought all of these accessories, including a gimbal, but mainly all I needed was just this. So now that you know what I'm using, it's time to get off the ship, hop on one of these little tender boats, and head to the mainland. I booked a pretty expensive Great Barrier Reef tour. It's a helicopter ride to and from the Great Barrier Reef, and a chance to snorkel at one of the thousands of reefs out here. And if you want to see more of this, I actually did a live stream from the helicopter. So this is where I want to show you another really cool product. I teamed up with YouTuber Gives a Minute and a German company called Armio. The path to more endurance is via oxygen. Now, the path to more oxygen follows a new plan. All right, we'll get to all that stuff later, but for now, let's get this thing on, get in the water, and see the reef. Because that's why we're here. Okay, yeah, it's like a different world down here. The colors, the fish, it's quite peaceful. And this is just a small fraction of what the Great Barrier Reef offers. And I can tell right away that I'm gonna need to come back here and explore more. More on the power breathing. You breathe through these two tubes and it's pure oxygen. You breathe out through here and no water ever gets in these tubes. It's quite impressive. I even swam down under the water and back up and still no water to blow out. This is pretty cool. This isn't a paid advertisement. The company just sent me the snorkel to try out, but I was able to get a coupon code for you guys watching. So check the description for details. Short-lived, short-lived experience there. There you have it. I could say I've snorkeled the Great Barrier Reef, and it's time to head back. I could have spent a lot more time out here. back to the ship and play around with the GoPro Hero 7 more. And you know what, I'm pretty impressed. The stabilization on this thing with just hand holding it is pretty amazing. And with just a few tweaks you can make your handheld footage look more cinematic. And a little tip with the fish. The footage actually looked more like this. Because you're shooting 4K, 60 frames per second, you can actually slow it down without losing any quality, which made for an even more smooth feel under the water. So in conclusion, I'd say that the GoPro Hero 7 is definitely my favorite GoPro. Just how smooth the footage looks, like it, it really feels like I'm using a gimbal. I didn't even use my gimbal for the GoPro at all, and I thought I needed it, but I guess I didn't because it looks really good. And uh, hyper smooth and time lapses and stuff. Ah, oh, I'm so excited to use this more and more and more. As far as the power breather, I'm gonna do a more in-depth video on that one, where I'm gonna be in Lifu snorkeling and trying that out 
in depth. That's kind of hard. I checked off my bucket list snorkeling at the Great Barrier Reef, so I'll see you guys next time. It's not my job to tell you guys to buy it or not, but I'm super happy that I upgraded from the five to the seven. And uh, this is just, maybe it's my new favorite camera. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Audio wise, it'll never win, but you know. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, click subscribe, turn on the bell, give it a thumbs up. If you want some more fun, come over to my live stream channel and be sure to check out more videos like this one.